Hey, how's it going? Thanks for checking out the video. Today I'm going to be talking about Ace Frehley and the show that I went to go see last night. So I went to go see Ace Frehley last night. It was a really cool, awesome show. It's what I expected of Ace Frehley. Ace Frehley's playing, you know, isn't incredible. He's doing Van Malm's theme. But, you know, you just grow to love Ace anyways. Who cares if he's sloppy or if he's not the most insane guitar player. He still has written some of the most, the most incredible wicked riffs ever and some really cool good solos and it was just really good to see Ace Frehley perform. Let's get into the show. Alright, first of all when we get there I see this display and people are selling merchandise and I'm like cool, I, wa I saw somebody walk by with a shirt. So I went to go check it out and then I saw all sinners there and I was just like oh it's the opening act and I was like really irritated that there was an opening act and I was just like I looked at the lady and I was just like yeah okay whatever and I just kind of like walked away I'm like I don't want to bend any all center stuff but they put on a wicked show I'm going to give a shout out to them the opening act I became an instant fan they played like six or seven songs um this is the EP that they have this is called all sinners I don't believe there is any title to it and they had a live tape available a live CD, which I probably should have bought, and or even a shirt, but I just bought this, and I really like the songs. It became an instant fan, so I want to give a shout out to those guys. I talked to Bruce, the bass player, and Nick, the guitarist, after the show, and told him, "Hey, man, I thought you guys were awesome," and I'm skeptical at first. I saw the singer first, and I saw when I saw him first, I told him the exact same thing. I said I saw that there was an opening act, and I really wasn't wild about that. But you guys put on an awesome show and I really like your stuff and I'm, in, I'm a fan. So if you do have a chance to see Ace Frehley with All Sinners opening up, I definitely recommend going to the show. And or if you're within the New England area or wherever they're touring and All Sinners is just playing your show by themselves, I definitely highly recommend that too. They're an awesome band. And man, there's a shout out to them because they were great. So let's talk about the show. The song, the concert opens up with Shock Me and then he played Rocket Ride. Two very good songs to start out with. And then he played 10,000 Volts. But he didn't play Cherry Medicine. He didn't play several of the other songs off of 10,000 Volts. Fighting for life. And of course, the only kind of bad thing, I guess, he didn't play anything off Space Invader or Spaceman or Anomaly. He did play Rock Soldier, so that was like the fourth or the sixth song. I was really excited about that. The only thing that slightly irritated me, I was like, what the heck? The drummer seemed to mess up the tempo and was like slowing it down. So that was kind of odd. And also, the drummer was not playing the fills perfectly and correctly. And rip it out like Anton Fig did, but the drummer was good. The drummer did sing Love Gun, and he sang it and played the drums perfectly and great. Scott. So he did great on that. Um, the bass player sang Cold Gin, and those guys switched on and off. So they did like a lot of Kiss songs. So that's really the only thing that was, you know, he, he's proud of these songs. He likes these other songs that he's done since from 2009 to now. He's released several albums, and he didn't really like playing. Like played ten thousand volts and off the newest album, and then that was it. Mainly, he stuck with just like the Kiss songs, all the classic songs. Shock me, um, Love Gun, Detroit Rock City, all of those Kiss songs that would fans expect and want to hear. Most of Ace Frehley fans are, of course, Kiss fans. Now the drummer sings Love Gun and the bass player sings Cold Gin and Detroit Rock City, which I think were great. I think they both did a really good job singing those songs and playing their instrument at the same time. And I think that's good that Ace Frehley, of course, did the old Kiss songs. That's what a lot of fans would expect. A lot, most Ace Frehley fans are, of course, Kiss fans. But... You know, I think it just still would have been good if he threw in some songs off Anomaly. One song off Anomaly, one song off Space Invader and or Spaceman. Any of those albums. 
I mean, he's proud of those albums. Those are really good albums. Once again, you would have fans that were split. You know, if he cut out several of those songs, I wouldn't have cared if he didn't play Cold Gin or a couple of those other songs. I really wouldn't have cared if he played some of the other new stuff. But then it would have been fans who were pissed off. Like, oh, he didn't play Cold Gin or he didn't play this song or that song. I would have liked it if he played Talk To Me and or Speed Back To My Baby. Those would have been really cool song, good songs to hear. Detroit Rock City, Deuce, and Rock and Roll All Night are the three Kiss songs that he could have just left out of the equation. Left out of the set. I really wouldn't have cared. But I know some people wanted to hear those and really liked and enjoyed, and enjoyed hearing those. But then some people would say he's just writing the coattails off Kiss. He's just doing all this Kiss stuff. Everything that he did in Kiss. I mean, it's the whole concept of recording a new album. Saying, I still have it. Here's other newer songs. There's still other good songs. You know, even from 2009, 2014, whatever. Here's some new songs. I still have it. I'm still, you know, good at songwriting and stuff like that. And he would record those. And he would play those live. That's what I'm getting at. That would have been cool if he had did. And of course, one of the things that I forgot would irritated me. I didn't forget my ticket. And I didn't forget my phone. But I forgot the tapestry. I was on the balcony, but I wasn't close enough to the edge. I was planning on bringing this tapestry and hanging over the balcony. And I was just, we're in such a rush to get going, I forgot this. I approached the Ace Frehley merchandise table. There really wasn't much stuff there. There was Ace Frehley CD, the 10,000 volt CD with the hologram thing on it. You know, when you tilt it and you see like the picture move and stuff. They had that and it was signed with this like gold marker. But that was selling for $100. Saw one cool H. Frehley shirt, but they only had large and medium and small. They didn't have any other sizes. And then, of course, they had a picture, and it was signed. It was this cool, like, older Kiss picture of Ace. And it was like a 10 by 12, and they were selling that for 100 bucks. And the t-shirts were $50. So I was just like, all right, well, forget it. I ain't going to buy anything here. So that was all just very expensive. And the other expensive thing that I wanted to do, of course, if I brought this tapestry, because I wanted Ace to see it and even get a picture of him with me, with Ace Frehley, with this tapestry. But the VIP thing was $500. $500, you meet him, and I forgot what the specifications were, but there was only like, there was it was a limited time you could actually hang out with Ace. It wasn't like Ace was going to hang out with you like a, a really long time. I have no idea how many people got those VIP things. I think it's pulling a, pulling a Gene Simmons there with that paying, paying for a VIP thing. But, however, I kind of get it because if he says, oh, I'll meet anybody and everybody after the show, he would have been there for a long time signing autographs, asking questions, and, and taking pictures. So I understand it's a very time-consuming thing. But some lucky people in the front did get some guitar picks that he was flicking out. And some water bottles. It was definitely, I don't want to say it was better. It was a lot shorter to wait than the 95 show that I saw. But it was just as cool. And it's really good. Once again, H. Frehley is actually recording new music. And something that Kiss is just not doing. Can't and won't. Haven't done in the last, you know, practically 10 years. <laughs> Most of all, of age friends accept him for who he is, kind of like a sloppy blues player. He's not incredible, but he's a really cool, he's a really good guitar player and a really good, more importantly, a good songwriter. And people love seeing that, and that's what people love about Ace.